there's someone that's been shot over on Rawlings Avenue and uh, Garfield Place, and I know she needs an ambulance. I was the lead investigator called out to handle the murder. She was a Jane Doe at that time, and they weren't quite sure who she actually was. A year before she was murdered, this Jane Doe, named Risa Bejarano, became known to millions of Americans as the subject of our documentary about teens leaving the foster care system. I'm the only one from my whole family who's gonna graduate from high school and not like prison or something. Aging out now is scary. In the case of Risa Bejarano, the documentary enabled us to make the jury see what a loss to society her death was. It was troubling to us that a film that we had made, which was designed to help young people make a more successful transition out of foster care, was all of a sudden going to be used to help persuade the jury to sentence a young man to death. I lost a daughter. They need to pay because I don't have her here. This ranks as one of, if not the most violent case that I've handled. Mr. Chavez deserves to die for what he did in this case. And the reality is, is that probably without the film, the state would not have pursued a death sentence in this case. We're going to be closing your case. Yes. You're going to be going on to college, Miss Risa. Five years from now, I see myself still having a job in school. I just want to be like an activist, a teacher, just helping others. To hear her words and see her reactions and her emotions and her struggle so clearly, it made his crime so much more um, sensational. I feel that the way the film was used in court was exploiting her. I think the situation in this case was unusual and unique. Your Honor, what if we had a video of a three-year-old John Chapman is getting punched out by his mother. The recent video, in my opinion, has kind of hung over this jury. Should it matter who Risa was as to whether her killer should get the death penalty? Are we really saying that if he had killed someone who was less noble, then the death penalty wouldn't be required? Our final vote came at a great deal of emotional cost, and I don't know if justice was served or not. There's no going back. Did I do the right thing? I'll have to live the rest of my life with that. The right question is not, do people like Juan Chavez deserve to die? The question is, do we deserve to kill?